So here we go. Game number one. We are starting on neutral field. Very glad everybody's starting to uh, just pick Battlefield at the very beginning of every set. Very strong start from Bladewise. Goku f every way he possibly can to make it back on to the stage. He gets that ugly up smash. It's going to kill him 94%. Back Goku. Now he's just got to rack up as much percentage as he possibly can. All right, Bladewise, absolutely no stranger to edge guarding any sort of foxes. So the fact that Fat Goku keeps making it back on time after time is just insane right now. Ooh, nice wave shine into the throw. However, he is going to get neutral aired by Bladewise. Hopefully, Bladewise is just going to grab the ledge. Yep. All right, he racked up 44%. Not too bad at the start of the round. Yep, Fat Goku's doing that patient thing that we were talking about earlier. That's what exactly he needed to do to start making Bladewise want to go in, want to put himself in bad situations, pretty much. All right, nice stall right there. And he jumped away because he knew that Teddy was going or that uh, Bladewise was going for that neutral air guard. And I think it's really important. He's finding ways around Bladewise's edge guarding. And that is huge. Yeah, he like I, like I was just saying, oh, <laughs> Fat Goku killing himself. Well, he, uh, Bladewise is definitely an up smash kill percent, though. We just saw it earlier, him kill him at this exact percentage. So That was a prime opportunity right there, too. Yeah, he's, he's trying real hard. Ooh, Ooh nice. That's going to do it. Very nice, very nice. Very good option coverage. From Fat Goku right now. Jab's coming out of Blade Wise. Trying to vie for that stage control. So important. It allows the opponent to... It allows you yourself to have a lot more options for movement and just about anything else. Fat Goku off the stage now. And once again, like I was saying, Blade Wise is absolutely no stranger to edge guarding a fox. He is so good at that. Gonna be able to take out another stock once again from Fat Goku. All right, so now we're two socks to one. Uh, Bladewise is in a little bit of a high percent right now. A few more lasers. This right here, maybe. Nice, very smart from Fat oh. Goku. Just barely missing the up smash. Like he he saw it, he reacted, but it was just out of range. And get away from that down oh, smash. Man. Bladewise reading the back roll, and he just barely gets the battlefield uh, ledge. First game going to Blade Rise now, right now. It was still a fairly close game. Um, Fat Goku definitely holding it down, I think. And so he just got he just got to keep that patience up. I mean, this is the fiercest I've ever seen Fat Goku play against Blade Wise. Like, if I just had one word to describe it, I would say he's playing fiercely <laughs> right now. He really wants it. Yeah. I can see it, man. He's totally just trying to pull out all the stops. He's, he's even figured out this Blade Wise is probably one of the best people with Peach to edgeguard a fox, aside from Armada himself. Yeah. And we've seen Fat Goku find ways to recover against Bladewise in those last few games. From the last set in this set here. He's going to get one shined there, but no real. Wow, he just nice. follows him all the way across the stage. That was very good. Good read. And it was funny because there was no camera, so you couldn't actually see him. That was pretty much a Hail Mary at that point. Yeah, well, he just he just said, you know what? I think I know what you're going to do, so I'm just going to go for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do in a read. you got to commit to it. Once again. Oh, really nice. That was a fantastic feint. Jumped up, threw the turn up backwards, turn around, then went into a back air. Yeah. Bladewise so strong at edge guarding foxes. Ooh, nice up beyond a shield. We've seen that option quite a lot working against Fat Goku. He's, it's, uh, he's possibly getting just a little too antsy on the shield pressure. Yeah, that is a thing uh, that can happen. If you get a little bit too antsy on the shield pressure and you are not perfect with it, you can get upbeat out of shield and you can get nared out of shield. Both of those are really real threats. I like the play right there from Fat Goku. He just stayed pretty patient. And yeah, he's just he's just looking for the Bladewise to make a mistake. And that's exactly what he needs to do. Uh, uh, um, Pokemon Stadium gives him the exact room to be able to just watch Bladewise do these, these things and just await, react, punish. However, Bladewise, the second he gets him towards the ledge, man, the punish game is ridiculous. There's a stitch face in there. Oof. 
And see, like, I want to talk about Fat Goku's recovery here for a second, because we've seen him suicide twice off of a missed Phantasm. And I think that's really indicative of him just getting super antsy and wanting it really hard. And he's thinking a little bit less and acting a little bit more, which I think is overall good, but it is costing him a few stocks. Yeah, so what Fat Goku's probably trying to... Wow, wait, he reflected it, though, I thought. He did. He definitely did. But, but, wow. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't really know what to say about that. That's... <laughs> I didn't know that the Stitcher had that property. I, I think it just it bounced directly up and then yeah, and he it's went still, out of it. Yeah, it still just has a hitbox. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we were seeing that ledge game right here from uh, Bladewise. He's, he, he's shown that he's been extremely strong keeping up um, Fat Goku at the ledge. However, uh, remaining vigilant, getting the up smash. It. Great tippered up smash to bring it up to Ooh. even ish. <laughs> Roll forward, anymore, wake actually. up, and shine. Oh man, that's yeah, that's just always a terrible situation. Fox players got to work around that. So we are going to see the fire transformation here. This could be a chance for um, Fat Goku to rack up a bunch of percent or to just gain his composure, don't, to don't, be honest. Don't, 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 don't go down don't. there, Jeff. Don't go down there, Jeff. Stop. Uh, oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh, my god, oh no. the back don't air. Go down don't go down there, Jeff. Don't go down there. <laughs> Currently 2-0 uh, Bladewise, is correct? Yeah. Going right back to Pokemon Stadium in the exact same start. Can't believe we went down there. Yeah. It's, I was kind of I was kind of hoping you would try to keep his composure by going to the other side and just waiting a second. That would give him some time to think. Yeah, and see, like, it. that's a chance. Like, okay, so... You've seen episode one, right? Star Wars episode one. Okay, <laughs> it's over, but, Anakin. I have the high ground. No, no, that's episode no, three. But. That's episode three, yeah. But you know, like at the end where Obi Wan and Qui Gon they get separated, and Qui Gon's just fighting him, yeah. then Qui Gon gets killed. Spoilers, whatever. Who cares about episode one? Qui Gon gets killed, and then Obi Wan just sits there, like stewing in his anger for a while. But he calms down, and then he goes back and he beats him. I feel like it's a, kind of the same situation right there. If he was over on that other side, he could have. Just took a moment. Went, yeah. Okay. But um, <clears throat> this isn't looking good right yeah, now. Fat Goku's not really getting the angles that he needs to get against Bladewise right now. And he's already got him at the ledge, too. So it could be pretty bad. Ooh, nice. nice. Yeah, you read the air dodge option. All right. Now put in some work, take this stock, and bring it back to even. Okay, here we go. That's a good start. Gonna have the water for information first, so he's gonna have he's gonna still have a lot of options for movement and a lot of things to go around. So this could potentially be all oh, very <laughs> nice for Fat Goku. I love seeing that. Ooh, that was Come on. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, Fat put Goku. Work. Never giving up. Let's go. Put in that work, got that stock. Playful tech. Bladewise was looking for the back roll, but he didn't get it. That was a beautiful tech. Got dash attack, tech the dash attack, and rolled back in top. Cancel. Cancel. cancel in melee. Uh, yep, crouch cancel, down smash, very textbook. I uh, read the jump, but he's going to be able to edge guard Fat Goku. All right, well, we saw him not give up a minute ago and then take those two stocks pretty much immediately. So let's see if he can put in that work once again. Nice job angling your shield to make sure that Peach can't get you from below. Ooh, very tricky, but Bladewise navigates it. All right, I like that he opted to go for a back air right there instead of an up air. He could have gotten beat out by the Nair very easily. Yeah, ooh. Just barely reading the option. It's not going to kill, but he knows. He knows now a lot more of it. One more. Back here. Oh, okay. He's wow. Teddy killed himself. I, he's got I a chance. I shouldn't get excited for that, but I am. <laughs> yeah, it was a technical flub, but he's got a chance now. Uh, oh, wow. He just barely makes it out. Don't think there. that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. That's the whole reason he didn't do it. He went for the back air before. Okay, but the get to that edge. Yeah, so now he's actually going to have a chance to be able to... Oh, no. no he technically oh, flubs oh, off the Invincible Edge oh, death. Man. Blade. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Bladewise is going to take it 3-0.